Welcome back to my shop. I'm Steve French. Today on Wooden Stuff, I'm going to create an entry for Simply Wooden Creations Halloween themed scroll saw project contest. So, well, what I have come up with is a an interpretation of Charles Scholl's classic image from It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. And I've I've transformed that flat image into a really cool 2.5D version that's got a lot of depth. And it's made from five different layers of quarter inch plywood, each cut out on the scroll saw, painted, and glued together. I'm going to show you how to go from something like this to something like this, which has a lot of depth and looks really, really cool. Printed out a black and white version of the cover of the animated movie It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. And I have cut the pieces, taped them two together, and I've got three more sets I'm going to take. All right, now I need to determine which aspects of this picture I'm going to apply to each layer of the final piece. And I'm going to make it in four separate layers. So, we're going to have the background layer stay here, up around the pumpkin stem. Down, include Charlie Brown. Down, up, around this pumpkin, around this pumpkin. Include Linus's head and neck, but not arms. Down, around, above Snoopy, and there. So that'll all be on the background layer. I'll now identify those cutoff points on the various large pieces and then I'll be back for the next step. All right, well, I know I need a layer that's shaped like what's missing here, so let me go ahead and stick this pattern to the wood and cut out that shape. That'll give me my the base for, my, for the third level up. So we have background level, these guys will be the next level forward, then this will be the level on top of that. So we get the top corner lined up, followed by the entire top edge and work down and from the middle outward another layer. Since I'm making a layered piece, there are some parts that I'm going to have to draw in that are not in the original drawing. One is the part in back of Snoopy's head. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this part here on these two layers. That way in back of Snoopy's head it'll just be open space. What I want to do is go ahead and follow through on this large pumpkin. So let me just continue that on something like this. The exact shape really doesn't matter right now. Now that everything's registered on the bottom and the side here, so this corner is lined up nicely, I just trace out what I'm going to remove. <laughs> and I'll set this layer aside right quick and go ahead and cut out that area right there. So I just stack cut these two pieces in and remove those. That's trash now. Okay, so let's see where we stand now. Then this layer, which I'm about to pull the pattern pattern off of, will give me more pumpkins and more leaves. One more level 
Hogan, which is a foreground level, which of course will include Snoopy in his Red Baron outfit, and the ground, did these green leaves up front, the red leaves up front. We're also going to include this pumpkin in the top layer. I'm just going to go ahead and determine what I want to be in the front layer. Snoopy, of course. He'll be in the very foreground. There we go. Look at that. And now we've got another one of those situations where I think I'm going to remove some of that material behind this pumpkin here. So it'll help it stand out more and look more three-dimensional. So from there to here, I'm just gonna go ahead and just remove that wood right there. It's been cut out now. So let's see how this is gonna look now. Look at that, nice, huh? Let's go cut this baby at the scroll saw. Beautiful, and there is the top layer. I've already crumbled up this scrap of Linus, but I think I'm gonna make his arms be a separate layer right there. So it'll be actually part of this layer up here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be really cool. Very, very cool looking. All right, I've sanded each layer, so it looks really nice now. And now, I am going to go along and trace the outline of each layer onto the layer underneath it. I just want to do it really lightly. And I don't even need every crevice in detail. I just need to know where each layer covers so as I paint a layer, I can make sure I'm covering all of the surface that will be exposed. All I've got to do now is the black. So here's what I have so far. I have this layer, foreground. The next layer down is this, Linus' arms. But we have this layer, Charlie Brown and Linus. Then the background. forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.